a presentation of K-Star 49 Sports. The home of the home teams. Live from the Lubbock Coliseum in Lubbock, Texas, it's Western Professional Hockey League action tonight, the Fort Worth Brahmas and the Lubbock Cotton Kings. Tonight's Fort Worth Brahmas hockey game is brought to you by Chevrolet, the official car and truck of the Fort Worth Brahmas. And by train, heating and air conditioning. It's hard to stop a train. And by Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. And by Coors Light, the official beer of the Fort Worth Brahmas. Hi everybody, Mike Barrett, General Manager of the Fort Worth Brahmas and the first televised broadcast in the history of the Fort Worth Brahmas. With me is the President of the Fort Worth Brahmas, 18 years in the NHL, former Dallas Stars goaltender Andy Moog. Andy, welcome to Lubbock. Should be fun tonight, the first ever TV game for the fans in Fort Worth. Well, thank you very much, Mike. Uh, exciting to be here in Lubbock, like you said, and exciting to be on K-Star 49, the first ever for the Fort Worth Brahmas. Well, Andy, it's been kind of a tough season for the Fort Worth Brahmas as we take a look at the standings. The Brahmas right now in last place in the Eastern Division of the Western Professional Hockey League, 11 wins. But, uh, you know, the second half of the season, we'll see if the uh, Brahmas can come back. It's been kind of a tough year for Fort Worth. Yeah, we're, we're um, encouraged by a few signs out there as far as the effort and the, the intensity is concerned. But obviously the wins are what counts, and that's the bottom line. And we need to do a little bit more of that in the second half, a lot more of that in the second half. And, of course, the Brahmas taking on the Lubbock Cotton Kings. They've had a terrific year. They're in second place in the Western Division under Bill McDonald, the former coach of the Fort Worth Brahmas and the Fort Worth Fire. Yeah, absolutely. Bill has uh, got a terrific reputation at this level, and he seems to be able to pull together teams all the time. Uh, he's produced uh, another winner here in Lubbock, and it's going to be a big challenge for the Brahmas tonight. And, of course, the Brahmas taking on the Cotton Kings here this evening. There have been some bright spots for the Brahmas this year. In fact, the all-star performer, Justin Cardwell, just came off a performance, a goal and four assists in the WPHL All-Star game. He's the leading scorer for Fort Worth. Justin Cardwell for the Brahmas. Yeah, absolutely. Justin is the leader, uh, the heart and soul of the club. Obviously, where's the captain and is an assistant coach for uh, coach, head coach Todd Lalonde. He, he does it all for the club, and he's, uh, he, he's the kind of guy that inspires others to be better, and uh, we look for a lot more of that in the second half. Brahmas tonight will have to watch out for a number of players on the Lubbock Cotton Kings, including former Brahma Cosmo DuPaul. Fans know Cosmo from his performances in Fort Worth, a few knee injuries, and uh, he's back in the lineup by this season in Lubbock. Yeah, it looks like Cosmo was fully recovered from a serious knee injury that occurred while he played for the Brahmas last year. It happened in Austin during January, and uh, uh, it was a tough decision for the organization to let him go, but uh, obviously Cosmo's rebounded very well. And, of course, the uh, Brahmas right now looking for a victory on the road. It's been a long road stretch for Fort Worth. They come home this upcoming week. We'll see if the Brahmas can pull up uh, a victory here tonight. When we come back, the play-by-play, -play, the first ever Brahmas TV game, the Brahmas and the Lovett Coppin Kings in just a moment. Silver shine of a frost brood pours light. Introducing the all new Silverado Heavy Duty. The most powerful heavy duty pickup that you can get. And the 2001 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Silverado Heavy Duty. What's in the bag, Howie? Just some cool new stuff I got at Radio Shack. I love the changes they're making. And you ought to know about change. You went from being a great football player to a great football commentator. The stuff in the bag is mine, Terry. Oh, and you know, even with all the new brands at Radio Shack, they're still the same people good at answering questions and explaining things. Yeah. And even though you made the Hall of Fame, yeah. you're still the same you. Stuff in the bag is still mine, Terry. Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. Friday, February 16th, join Dallas Mavericks, Dirk Nowitzki, and Steve Nash at the Fort Worth Convention Center for the Brahmas and the Lubbock Cotton Kings. 
The game starts with Nash and Nowitzki dropping the ceremonial first puck at 7.30. It will then be available for autographs during the game. Receive $3 off tickets at the convention center box office with any Mavs ticket stub. Or you can purchase $13 and $15 seats at all Metroplex Albertson stores. Or by calling Star Tickets at 888-597-STAR. That's Mavs Night with the Brahmas, February 16th. Well, I, I decided. Tonight's the night I'm going to pop the question. So did you get the ring yet? No. I had a better idea. I wanted to get her something that says, I'm really in this for the long haul. It's a train. What? I'm making a commitment here. Mike Barak and Andy Moog from the Lubbock Coliseum in Lubbock, Texas. Tonight, the Brahmas and the Lubbock Cotton Kings. Andy, a lot of activity here in Lubbock. Second year of the Lubbock Cotton Kings. It's been a terrific run for them. Last year, an outstanding regular season. This year, they're in second place in their division. And a lot of interest in hockey here in Lubbock, Texas. Of course, the Brahmas, uh, as we talked about at the outset, struggling a bit. But uh, perhaps tonight, they can gain a victory. And, you know, it's been a week now uh, since the last uh, performance for Fort Worth. Todd Roland is trying to get his feet wet. He's uh, only been behind the bench for five games for Fort Worth. Yeah, the, the city of uh, Lubbock has uh, taken this team to heart. They, uh, they support it uh, with great crowds and a lot of enthusiasm at the building. Um, they've, they've done a terrific job of marketing and presenting this uh, minor league hockey franchise to the city, and the city has responded in, uh, in terrific attendance. Uh, as far as our hometown Brahmas are concerned tonight, uh, like you said, it's, it's a, a fresh start. They've had a week off for the All-Star break, and it's, it's time to put up or shut up, so to speak. There's a lot of guys that are fighting for jobs in the league, uh, on the Brahmas, and, and they're going to have to perform and, uh, and take, their, take their game to another level as far as the second half is concerned. And uh, tonight, hopefully, we'll see a start to that. The Brahmas have been on the road for quite some time, in fact, because of the stock show at Will Rogers and the boat show and a number of activities at the Fort Worth Convention Center. Fort Worth playing the entire month on the road. Andy, what's that like for a team that goes so long away from home? Yeah, it's been, it's been a very big challenge for the team. Obviously, there's been some player personnel moves to complicate things as well as a coaching change that has complicated things. But you know, ultimately, the players are, are professionals and they're to focus and, and be responsible for their job. And, and it's all, all, always difficult on the road, but uh, even more so being out here for well over a month. The Brahmas, as mentioned, come in at 11-29 and three. They're 6-18 and two on the road. This is their first game this season against the Cotton Kings on the road. They played in Fort Worth November 3rd. The Cotton Kings won the game by a score of four to one. Uh, they've uh, introduced, of course, the uh, lineups, uh, the starters for both the Cotton Kings and the Fort Worth Brahmas. And let's pause now for the playing of our national anthem, the Brahmas and the Cotton Kings. Dawn's early light, what so proudly we hail, and the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched. We're so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Well, they have the fireworks going, Andy. It's a uh you know, this is great. Uh, we're getting a chance to, to broadcast a game for the WPHL. Great opportunity for the fans of Dallas-Fort Worth to see uh, the Brahmas and uh, in this league. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're, uh, 
weren't too well kept a secret over there in Fort Worth. Uh, obviously, it's a long journey for the uh, Dallas hockey fans to make it over, but, uh, you know, with a number of terrific weekend dates, uh, Saturday, Friday, Saturday nights, uh, there's always an opportunity to see hockey over in Fort Worth. Just a moment, we'll uh, talk about the uh, goaltenders this evening for the uh, Brahmas and the uh, Lubbock Cotton Kings. As mentioned, the Brahmas 11-29-3 on the season. Jason Carey, they call him the Bear. 25 games this year, 3.55. That includes his record in Central Texas with the Brahmas, Andy, five games, one and two of 5.68 goals against average. Yeah, not the numbers he wanted, but, uh, you know, he's got, he's got a, an opportunity to get a, a start here and, and take advantage of it. The opponent uh, tonight to Neil Savory. He's a youngster, a Halifax, Nova Scotia, 23 games, 10, 8, and 2, a 3.13 goals against average for the Lubbock Cotton Kings out of Dalhousie University. He played in the Canadian college ranks in his background. Brahmas, as mentioned, uh, coming in 6, 18, and 2 on the road. Their first game here at Lubbock this year. The Brahmas will start off with the number one line, Justin Cardwell alongside Ross Harris, and also up front, Chad Willard for Fort Worth. It looks like Coach Bill McDonald wants to go against power against power with the number one line for the Lubbock Cotton Kings, centered by Cosmo DuPaul versus the number one line with uh, 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 Jason Cardwell as well. It'll be uh, Reeves, DuPaul, and also up front, Mella Churchick for the Lubbock Cotton Kings, Todd Lamont. In his sixth game behind the bench for Fort Worth, is, he has one victory to his credit. The referee tonight, Matt Violata from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, third year in the Western Professional Hockey League. Dan O'Neill and Eric Von Felt are the line's been a look at Bill McDonald coaching the Fort Worth Fire and the Fort Worth Brahmas in the past, and of course a championship with the Fort Worth Fire. We're underway here in Lubbock, and Derek Holland, the defenseman, gains possession, leaves it for his own defense. They clear it along the boards. Mike Tilson pinching in, cuts in front for Willard, into the corner for Justin Cardwell, just underway. Ross Harris has nine goals in his time back with Fort Worth. Able to dump it back behind the goal, and the Cotton Kings gain possession. They try and clear to the boards, and it takes a crazy hop. Harris tries to feed Cardwell, poked to the defense. Cardwell shoots. Savory gets a stick on that. The puck deflected and cleared by the Cotton Kings outside the blue line. Here's Cosmo DePaul. Able to control the puck for Lubbock. Centers across to the near side. Melichersik has possession. Gains it to the near side. Kyle Reeves leads the WPHL in goals with 46, but poke check beautifully by Cardwell. The puck clear to center, and DuPaul leaves it deep into the uh, Fort Worth zone. An opportunity here for Mike Tilson to get a breakout going. A little bit open ice up the near side. Here's Steve Dowie and across the line. Drop pass, near side, quick shot, and Savory the save. The big drive by Ben Gorwich for Fort Worth, and Savory falls on top. Yeah, very nice delay play. A, a shot coming from uh, from the uh, late man entering the zone, and Savory make a fine save, and not letting a rebound out either, Mike. Uh, no rebound, no second chance, no opportunity for uh, a goal there. The line for Fort Worth, the centered Steve Dowie for the Brahmas on the near side that took that shot. Ben Gorwich, a 26-year-old out of Wisconsin, Stevens Point. And Steve, the Brahmas in the offensive zone. Chris Peach is the other forward on the line. Here's Gorwich, shoots, Savory gets a glove on that. And the Brahmas have had the first two opportunities in this game. And here's a longtime veteran, Jim Magoo, former Pittsburgh Penguin, Hope Jet, Brahmas control. To the near side, Peach tries to center one, intercepted by the veteran Magoo. Headman's the center ice deep into the Fort Worth uh, zone and across the line ahead of the play. Walker McDonald, the son of Bill McDonald, the head coach of the Lubbock Cotton Kings. Yeah, they're throwing this together, this line together here with a veteran guy and then Jim Magoo, a young guy, and Walker McDonald. Uh, I think they look to Magoo for leadership in this situation. They got a couple young players out there with them and like to show these young fellows the way. Uh, 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 a good start for the Brahmas here early on. Uh, three, uh, three shots on goal, a couple of scoring chances. Uh, no rebound by the young goaltender, Savory, and that's, uh, that's been uh, uh, something that the Brahmas want to try and do is get a second chance. Centerman on this line for Lubbock will be Peter Kava against the Fort Worth uh, centerman Steve Dowie. Lubbock Coliseum, built in 1956. Former home of Texas Tech University, play at center ice, and Carper now the defenseman for Lubbock in their third uniform this season. New uniform for them with the gold jerseys. Able to play it now for Fort Worth as the Brahmas break the centers. Peach angles in across the line. Dowie pulls up, can't make a play. Poke chuck by Dave McIntyre, the former Central Texas Stampede, and the puck squirts to the Brahmas' blue line. Early on, first period, no score from Lubbock. The Brahmas and the Cotton Kings. Here's Dowie down the right wing side. Has Peach on his left poke check, clear to center, and the lone NHL 
contracted player for Fort Worth, Clint Cabana. Unable to control, however, Manichi, the defenseman, tries to work it free for Lubbock, but poke check beautifully by Chris Peach in a two-man break for the Brahmas. Here's Peach in across the line, in, shoots! That's deflected off the defenseman, Mike Hebert, into the near side and up to center ice. Hebert, a former Fort Worth uh, player, played with the Fort Worth Fire in 1997-98, played as center ice in Kava, has possession for Lubbock and just pokes it deep into the Fort Worth zone. No score, 17 and a half minutes left in the opening period. Hebert unable to control, and the puck skitters all the way down into the Lubbock side of the ring. Brahm has got a break there, bounce, uh, puck bounced over the defenseman's stick as he was preparing to tee it up. Brahm is trying to dump it free into the near side. Poke check, however, and cleared into the neutral zone. Here's Dan building a for Fort Worth, a right side pass for Mike Tilson. This defensive pairing have been together for a lot of the for much of the regular season for Fort Worth. There's Villeneuve, plays to center ice, and here's Woolard in across the line. A wrist shot blocked at the last moment. It bounces into the air. Woolard tries to center one, does in front. Cardwell scores! Justin Cardwell, how about that? one nothing Brahmas! Outstanding play. Chad Woolard jumping on a loose puck and a turnover down in the lower right corner, feeding uh, uh, Justin Cardwell out in the high slot, and his wrist shot beats uh, Savory low to the blocker side. Uh, very accurate shot, not uh, overpowering, but accurate. And and uh, as uh, you'll know from all great goal scorers, it's, it's not how hard. Uh, we got a replay coming up for you right now. Uh, turnover by Wooler. He makes a nice backhand pass into the high slot. Cardwell gets everything behind it. Low over the pad, under the blocker. one nothing Brahmas. So this going play, Cardwell is 27th. Wooler on the assist at 408. Another look from up top, Andy. And uh, what's Savory to do on that? Uh, perfect position. I think he established good high position in the net. Uh, uh, again, an accurate, an accurate shot over the pad under the blocker. Not too much the goalie can do in that situation. Actual time that goal, 308, a 1-0 Fort Worth lead. How about that, Andy? The Brahmas on the uh, attack and scoring the first goal. Yeah. Here's a play on the right wing side. Adam Robbins now for Lubbock. Plays to the near wing for Walker McDonald. Tied up at the play. At the last moment by Casey Hungle. Here's Jim Magoo for the Cotton King. Centers in front. Blocked by the defense. Cleared by the Brahmas and out the center ice. A lot of loose bodies in front of the Brahmas net on that play. We're fortunate that the puck kicked away from the front of the net. Uh, Carey had a very difficult time finding that loose puck. Brahmas in there. Traditional home uniforms tonight as they switched in the second half of the season. Brahma's wearing their home uniforms on the road for the second half. Here's play now at the blue line. It uh, trickles into the Lubbock zone and the Cotton Kings gain possession. They just clear to the boards to center. Hungle unable to control. Robbins now just smacks it right back into the Fort Worth uh, zone. 4 nothing. Brahma's out to shooting the Cotton Kings and have a 1 nothing lead. How about that? Here in Lubbock, Texas. Here's play at the defense. Manichi now able to take uh, control. Poke checked at the blue line. But then covering up is Brandon Carper. And across the line, Kava for the player on the far side. Joe Coombs tries to center one. Here's Coombs does in the slot. A chance for Kava. He scores. How about that? The Cotton Kings have tied it up. But a good play from Coombs to Kava from the top of the circle. Yeah, a little bit more of an, uh, a setup uh, on an offensive rush by the by the Cotton Kings. Uh, the goal comes from virtually the same place as Justin Cardwell's came from, high in the slot. Here's the feed from the goal line out high in the slot with a wrist shot. Uh, Jim Carey, uh, uh, Carey gets caught moving a little bit, opening up a five hole. Uh, probably would have liked to have that one back as far as the goals go. Uh, this is one that he'd like to have back. Just beat him in the five hole and uh, those are the ones that hurt the team and uh, you'd like to be able to make that save on, on a shot from the perimeter. Dave McIntyre on one assist. Kava scores the goal, his 18th of the year at 437. Looking for the other assist on that goal, and that's yeah. uh, Joe Coombs, who set up on that play. Coombs uh, also played in the uh, Central Hockey League with the uh, Topeka Scarecrow the last few years, and now we're going to take a break. The score, one apiece between the Brahmas and the Cotton Kings, and we'll be back in just a moment on K-Star. Power Chevy Monte Carlo SS. Uh, hot. The side you show the world is up to you. Monte Carlo will be there. You know what people are saying about you guys? That you're a bunch of vicious animals. Well, you and I know that's not true. You and I know that this is a game of skill and precision. 
and speed and grace. So I want you to go out there tonight and show them what Fort Worth Promise Hockey is really about. Okay, you can open the cage now. Fort Worth Promise Hockey, it's a kick. Back in action here in uh, Lubbock, Texas. The Brahmas and the Cotton Kings tied at one. And we've had a lot of action here in the early going. Puck uh, loose at center ice, and Coombs unable to control a pass ahead and deep into the forward zone. And the Brahmas gain possession. First game for number 27, Mike Rust, just acquired from the San Angelo Outlaws of the Western Professional Hockey League. Playing the right wing side of McIntyre, able to clear it to center. And the Brahmas gained possession from the right wing side of Rusk, able to clear it in. Actually, Rusk uh, just acquired from Odessa of the WPHL. And the play now back of the goal, where uh, Melichurchik gains possession. Brahmas steal. Woolard on the boards, unable to control the puck. It uh, skips high in the air. And the Cotton Kings clear to the boards on right wing. It is a 1-1 standoff on the right wing side. DuPaul, headmans for Reeves, 46 goals in the year. But the Brahmas beautifully able to poke check Cabana. The play now in the slot, Fort Worth clear, not out. DuPaul in on goal, swivels in on net, shoots, he scores! Cosmo DuPaul with two beautiful moves. And Jason Carey not happy at all. 2-1, love it on that scoring play. A little breakdown in coverage down low in the Brahmas end. There was a turnover. Uh, DuPaul jumps on the turnover. The ice opens up for him on the near side, and he walks to the net. Makes a very nice play. Patience gets... We'll take a look at it. The Here Brahmas it gained possession, Andy, and DuPaul just took it right away. He jumps in on a turnover, like I said, and uh, as he waits, the ice opens up. A, a nice move there, and then here's the patience of a goal scorer as he waits, beats Carey across the net, and finds the open side. Here, it is, here it is again from up top. Again, the, the patience of a goal scorer right there, find the open side. 86 goals and 206 points with the Fort Worth Brahmas. He had 99 points in the Brahmins in 97-98, including 40 goals, and he looked nice on that play. It was a beautiful scoring opportunity, unassisted at six minutes, and the Cotton Kings have a two-to-one lead. And here's Kyle Reeves, in across the forward work line, in, shoots, and that's blocked away at the defense. Reeves also is a former Fort Worth fire. Brahmins clearing the boards on left wing, and it finally skips to center. So Fort Worth jumping on to the early lead, 1-0, out shooting Lubbock 4-zip, and now the Cotton Kings have the lead. Play at the defense, Trevor Burgess on right wing, pokes it into the neutral zone. Promise checked again, Magoo. Oh, he's hit hard at the blue line. Nice check by the newcomer, Rusk, at the Fort Worth line. And here's Cardwell, chops him on his backhand deep into the zone. Cotton Kings scoring goals in their first two shots. Here's play on left wing, McDonald into the Fort Worth zone. It, just to flex into the near corner, and the Brahmas gain possession. Jake Harney on the boards, able to clear it free. Harney took a check on the near side from Walker McDonald, drawing the excitement of the crowd. Here's a play on right wing. Adam Robinson's in on net, shoots one, right to the goal crease. The net is dislodged as the right post able to uh, deflect off its mooring, so as a result, the stoppage in play, and uh, we'll take a look on that play. Yeah, a net drive again by the Cotton Kings, a very good hard net drive. There's the play across the front of the net. Uh, uh, Carey may have gotten a piece of it, but uh, his momentum carries him through into the goal post and dislodges the post. A good break for the Brahmas at the time. Right now, we're seeing the Brahmas uh, uh, making a lot of high-risk plays between the blue lines, and as a result, the Cotton Kings have pushed uh, turnovers through forward and with a lot of net drive to the net are getting scoring chances. I think that's one area where the puck needs to get in a little deeper, not turning it over in the neutral zone. Robbins against Dowie on the play. Dowie for Fort Worth, trying to clear it free. Brahma's dumped the center and the Cotton Kings to Magoo leaves it for his own defense. 4-2, the Brahma's about shot Lubbock, but the Cotton Kings have a 2-1 to one lead. 12-26 left in the opening period. Yeah, not the start that Jason Carey wanted here in this game tonight. Uh, he, he would have liked to have had a much stronger start for the, for the Brahmas. Here's Tilson on the right wing side, able to clear it to center. Little dump pass for Dowie, he's knocked down, no call. The play on the near side, Dowie tries to drop it free for Gorwich. poke check, and Magoo leads it free on right wing. 
Here's Minichi, the defenseman, clears it free, and it's offside at the defense with 12.01 remaining in the opening period. 2-1 in favor of the Lubbock Cotton Kings. Well, a little unfortunate break for the Brahmas there as uh, the player stepped around the defenseman, got hooked down. You'd like to see a referee make that call. This is a, a potential scoring chance developing, and to be hooked down in that situation really hurts. Uh, those are the scoring chances, and those are the areas that the referees have to clamp down on. Brahma is uh, ranked. 12th in the league on uh, power play opportunities. They would have loved to have had an opportunity on that previous scoring barrage. Here's play at center, and Carper slams it right back into the forward zone. It ricochets along the boards. Forwards, forward on the left wing side. Harris trying to clear it out. The Cotton Kings gain possession. McIntyre on the boards tied up on the play. Rusk is there, and finally the Brahmas clear at the center, and Harper or, uh, has possession. The Cotton Kings won last night by a score of 6-1 against the Amarillo Rattlers, falling on top of uh, the loose puck is carry, and the faceoff will be deep into the forward zone with 11 and a half minutes left in the opening frame. 2-1 in favor of Lubbock. And talking about it, the Brahmas are actually the more well-rested team here tonight as the Cotton Kings played last evening and won 6-1. They're taking a break here. The score, the Brahmas trail 2-1 against the Cotton Kings. We'll be right back on K-Star. What's in the bag, Howie? Just some cool new stuff I got at Radio Shack. I love the changes they're making. And you ought to know about change. You went from being a great football player to a great football commentator. The stuff in the bag is mine, Terry. Oh, and you know, even with all the new brands at Radio Shack, they're still the same people good at answering questions and explaining things. Yeah. And even though you made the Hall of Fame, yeah. you're still the same you. Stuff in the bag is still mine, Terry. Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. Welcome to the Bargain Center of North Texas. Justin, Texas. Bargains every day in every store. Justin Discount Boots and Cowboy Outfitters is where you'll find the largest selection of Justin Boots in North Texas. Justin Double Comfort Work Boots, Justin Boots for the Family, and Justin Ropers and Cowboy Boots, all at discount prices. Justin Discount Boots and Cowboy Outfitters, the world's largest Western wear outlet. Chances are, whatever you're looking for can be found at bargain prices in Justin, Texas, only minutes away from the Metroplex. Come on out. If you're updating your existing home or building a new home, make sure your air conditioning and heating system is a Train XL Comfort System. Train builds the most reliable air conditioning and heating products for your home. I personally know the people at Train Heating and Air Conditioning. They're good, solid folks. They build great products and are good people. It's hard to stop a train. They've been sponsors of the Fort Worth Promise during the past couple of seasons and have uh, been good supporters of Fort Worth. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about our sponsors and the things that uh, happen uh, off the ice uh, in Fort Worth, the community programs that the Brahmas have had. Andy will touch on it as the night progresses. Faceoff will be deep into the Fort Worth zone, 2-1 in favor of Lubbock. Brahmas have had some tough times after scoring that first goal. Yeah, they, they uh, continue to make the mistakes between the blue lines. I think that for them to be effective, they have to get the puck in deep, make the uh, Lubbock uh, defense turn and get a four-check starter. You're seeing right here a little delay in the faceoff, and what's occurring is uh, Coach Bill McDonald wants a matchup, and, and home ice gets the last change, and he's, uh, he's finessing it so that he gets the matchup he wants on the ice. Which is the top lines for both squads with Harris and Cardwell against the DePaul line with Muller Churchick and Kyle Reeves, the leading goal scorer in the Western Professional Hockey League. Here's Cabana for Fort Worth, clears, Reeves intercepts. Puck loose to the top of the circle, but covering up is Harris, and the Brahmas clear at the center. Here's Cardwell, tries to set a pick, but cleared by DuPaul across the line, and the forward Melichursik gains possession. Reeves now in a four check, slides it back behind the Fort Worth goal, the Vancouver Canucks pro, Clint Cabana, Clears into the board, but not out. Reeves steals. Centers in front. Right behind DuPaul, who was going one way. The puck the other. And the puck taken now by Mela Chircic. He is checked. Brahma's trying to clear the zone, and finally they do. This should be an icing. Back after it is Pat Brownlee, the defenseman uh, for the Lubbock Cotton Kings. Icing is the call. After the initial flurries by the Brahmas, it's been very difficult for them to penetrate the offensive zone and create opportunities. I think you're, you're going to hear me, and it's going to sound like a broken record tonight, but between the blue lines, the puck's got to go forward for the Brahmas. Anytime it doesn't go forward and there's a turnover, this looks like a team, uh, the Lubbock Cotton Kings, is a very opportunistic team. Turnovers, offensive chances. Todd Alon has mentioned his sixth game. He coached with the Waco Wizards, also the Central Texas Stampede at the time of their folding, joining the Fort Worth Bronx. Here's a chance for the point, carry the save on Trevor Burgess, and the puck cleared to center. 
Right wing side pass for Adam Robbins, a former Fort Worth player. Back behind the Rama's goal, and Tilson able to clear it free to the near side. Fort Worth trying to play the puck to the blue line. Villano poke check, Robbins steals. In for Walker, McDonald to Robbins on the give and go, but he can't get his shot off. Too well checked by Villeneuve, and the puck deflects in the far boards. Ramos can't clear the zone. The Cotton Kings, McDonald scores! Walker McDonald up unmolested in the slot, and it's 3-1 in favor of the Cotton Kings. Wide open, nobody picked up their man. Turn up off the far side of the boards. Uh, puck moving out of the zone. The Brahma's attempting to move it up, and uh, puck turns over. Here it is again. Uh, up the wall, turnover, right on a Walker McDonald stick on his forehand. He gets a one-timer shot, meaning that there is no stopping of the pass as it comes across. He releases it on the pass, a one-timer. Very difficult save for Mr. Carey in this situation. Andy, what's it like when you have a shooter against the goaltender and that's all you see? In this situation here, you're gonna have to rely on your positioning because as he as he shoots the pass, it's very little time for you to react. Your positioning has to be excellent. You have to be able to make the save without very much movement at all, Mike. McDonald is 12th for Magoo at 9.53, and it's a 3-1 Cotton Kings lead. Here's McDonald again, poke check, and the Brahmas gain possession. Headman pass to center ice for uh, Payne, in for Cabana, and on goal, around the defense, can't get the shot off. Here's Cabana, looks like a forward here. Cabana now tries to make a play, spun off the puck at the defense by Manichi, who's able to clear the zone to center, where Harney for Fort Worth, clears one, and up towards the Cotton Kings players bench. A good rush for Fort Worth and uh, Clint Cabana for the Fort Worth Brahmas Hockey Club. 9.38 remaining in the period, and a look at the Cotton Kings bench. Lubbock in their second season in the Western Professional Hockey League. Looks like Clint Caban is taking matters into his own hand in this situation, trying to generate a little bit of uh, momentum for his hockey club. Uh, Tate Charge kind of guy that uh, can do it from the blue line. He can get involved in the offensive rush, and uh, a few more uh, situations like that, we could turn the momentum here and get some offense for the Brahmas. Face off outside the blue line. Interesting, no penalties called so far. You're talking about uh, some of the uh, more penalized teams in the league. The Cotton Kings, number one in penalty minutes this year. The Brahmas, number three. Lubbock averaging 26 minutes per game. Brahmas, 24.8. Here's a play now on left wing. Fort Worth gained possession of the puck. It's clear to center. A.C. Hungle gains possession. The former Tupelo T-Rex who bangs it into the zone. Hebert now for Lubbock, rings it along the boards on the right wing side. Brahmas in a four check, they steal it and center in front, it's saved by Savory, rebound, and he falls on top with Hungle on the doorstep. Mark Zacharias in his first stint back with the Brahmas since earlier this season, and also Casey Hungle with some scoring opportunities for Fort Worth. Yeah, we see a turnover again, turnover again. Zacharias gets it in the slot. He would have liked to have gotten a whole lot more on that shot, I'm sure. You could see his reaction in the slot afterwards. Uh, not very happy with the shot he got off. But again, uh, Jason Payne driving the net, looking for rebounds. That's what's got to happen out there. Uh, good save, and then it's the, the, the Lubbock defenseman calmly pushes it under his goalie for a whistle. Mark Zacharias just joining the Brahmas. The Brahmas release Josh Dobbin a forward a couple of days ago, and Zacharias joining the team. Played briefly with the Brahmas this season and last and is back in Fort Worth. Here's play at the defense and uh, Mike Rusk, 25-year-old, six-year pro, clears to center, but the Cotton Kings wind it right back in where Rusk plays into the boards on right wing. Reeves steals, however, in, shoots! Oh, that's a rocket and Carey able to hold on and make the save with a 3-1 Lubbock lead. We're gonna uh, take a look at some of the activities here and of course, uh, Brahma group ticket information. You can call 336 for ice or of course, Andy, all the Metroplex Albertsons locations to pick up individual tickets, you can call 888-597-STAR or stop by any Albertsons in the Metroplex. The good people at Albertsons always willing to help uh, and Star Tickets is a, a terrific location for the Brahmas tickets, very convenient locations for all the hockey fans in Fort Worth and of the course, Metroplex. And of course, group sales, uh, as mentioned, 336 for ice uh, for your company or youth organization, all the Brahmas group office again, 3-3-6 for Rice. Here's play on left wing in a 3-1 game with the Cotton Kings leading. Brahma's gained possession at center. Woolard across the blue line. Left wing side pass for Rusk. He just pokes it behind the net. Brahma's center in front of the goal. Loose in front of Chance. Tilson scores! Mike Tilson cutting in from his right point position about 
10 or 12 feet in front of the goal, just blasts it low to the ice, and it's three to two. Tilson really taking advantage, coming in from his blue line position to jump on a loose puck in the low slot. Uh, got it up over Savory, uh, uh, terrific, uh, terrific scoring chance, and uh, a great uh, capitalize on, a, on an error down low. There it is again, Tilson coming into your pitcher late, but getting off a bomb. Uh, Savory with no opportunity at all, and obviously the dejected Lubbock defenseman standing there wondering what happened. Now Mike Tilson with a blast, Andy, he's played strong physically for Fort Worth, but has also played fairly well offensively. Providing eight goals from the blue line position is Mike Tilson. Uh, this, this is a, a terrific season for him, and, and we always thought he was a gritty competitor, but this is great to see the production back there as well. The newcomer Mike Rusk in his first Brahma's game on the assist, Chad Willard also, so the scoring play, Tilson is eighth from Rusk and Willard at 11.29. The Brahma's back in at 3-2 Cotton Kings. Here's play now back of the goal, Trevor Burgess. On the near side for Holland, Derek Holland, just 21 years of age out of Lethbridge of the Western Hockey League, clears it deep into the Fort Worth zone. Peach able to pinch it along the boards for Dowie. Headman pass for Tilson. Lead pass on the right wing side for Gore, which just ahead of the playoff side at the Lubbock Blue Line. Good offensive opportunity for the Brahmas. 3-2, Cotton Kings will be right back in just a moment. Silverado Heavy Duty. The most powerful heavy duty pickup you can get. And the 2001 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Silverado Heavy Duty. Friday, February 16th, join Dallas Mavericks Dirk Nowitzki and Steve Nash at the Fort Worth Convention Center for the Brahmas and the Lubbock Cotton Kings. The game starts with Nash and Nowitzki dropping the ceremonial first puck at 7.30. It will then be available for autographs during the game. Receive $3 off tickets at the convention center box office with any Mavs ticket stub. Or you can purchase $13 and $15 seats at all Metroplex Albertson stores. Or by calling Star Tickets at 888-597-STAR. That's Mavs Night with the Brahmas, February 16th. Mike Barak and future NHL Hall of Famer Andy Moog alongside Andy of uh, the Brahma's 25 points, the Cotton Kings 56, but it's anybody's ball game early on, 3-2 Lubbock. We've seen some offense in this game, uh, uh, opportunistic offense by both teams, and uh, it looks like we're going to see a few goals tonight. Uh, maybe the Brahma's can break out and uh, get on top of the shootout tonight. I know the Brahma's are excited to have the game broadcast back into the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Here's McDonald. Now for Lubbock, able to just bounce it to the Fort Worth blue line. The Brahma's Peach checked, and now it's offside at the blue line with 7.49 remaining in the opening period. 3-2 in favor of the Lubbock Cotton Kings. Brahma's without uh, defenseman Ryan Shannon tonight, still out with a knee injury. And a big Craig Johnson, who was acquired from the Central Texas Stampede when they folded, is out uh, with a suspension, but will return into the lineup tomorrow night when the Brahma's play two games in Austin against the Ice Bats tomorrow night and Sunday afternoon. Here's play at the Lubbock defense. They just pop it high in the air to center, and Walker McDonald on the high fly ball into the forward zone. Shoots! Carey gets a leg on that. The net is dislodged. Play continues. I don't think they see it. And that finally a stoppage of play with 7.31 remaining in the period. A score of 3-2 Lubbock. Yeah, a great save by Jason Carey on that outnumbered rush again. Uh, might be his best save of the game so far. He was in good position, uh, very quick reflexes to react, flashed out the left leg and the left glove, and then uh, as a, an attempt to get up, he bumped the post off. Uh, it looks like these are much the same goal posts as we have in Fort Worth where they come off a little bit easier, but in that situation, the, the goaltender doesn't mind. He gives himself a break. Andy, for fans that follow the NHL in Dallas, they have no red line in this league, so you'll see a lot more wide open play. Exactly. That stretches the ice, and you saw an example of that as uh, as uh, Walker McDonald was well ahead of the play up near the offensive blue line, but was still on side because of the fact that the red line isn't in play in our game. Do they still call it cherry picking? Uh, I think when it's legal, it's okay. Here's play in front. Cotton Kings clear it wide. Cabana was in front trying to clear the zone. And now on the far boards, Jason Payne and Cabana trying to clear it out. Cotton Kings fiercely in a four check. And the puck is cleared away. Uh, Cotton Kings player falling down to the ice as uh, scrambled deep into the forward territory. Well, it looks like we're going to see a lot of offense tonight and uh, not very many power plays as uh, referee Bellotta elects to let this one go. Another uh, very difficult, uh, aggressive hit in front of the net. Yeah, terrific hit right there. 
Here's the net coming off as the play uh, tries to come out from behind the goal line. Uh, just a situation where this particular time looks like Mr. Carey might have bumped that off by himself, but nevertheless, uh, a break when uh, Lubbock was pressing. Andy uh, Carey still has his Central Texas pads on, the red and black. Doesn't coordinate very well. There's uh, Ty Lawn not happy about things in the zone. It's 3-2, however. The Brahmas in it with 7-17 remaining in the first period. Here's a shot for the point they score. Right off the faceoff, and the Brahmas aren't happy about it as the Cotton Kings one possession on the faceoff. It's 4-2, love it. Just an example of a lost draw and a puck coming through the crowd. Uh, unfortunately, Jason Carey just didn't see it. A lost draw, cleanly back. Uh, players attempting to get out to block the shot. Comes through the crowd all the way through. Jason Carey never sees it. Uh, he's playing the odds. He's playing the percentages. He's getting down on the ice, taking the bottle of the net and the middle of the net away. This one just finds a hole up top. Uh, like to see, uh, like to see a, at least a tie on the faceoff, Mike. Not just a clean win back. If you can get a tie, you might have your teammates come in and help get it back and get a win for you. But uh, when it's a clean win back like that, it becomes very difficult for anybody to get out there and challenge that shooter. We'll get the official scoring play in just a moment. It may have been deflected in front. They're discussing it now. Nonetheless, the Cotton Kings have a 4-2 lead. A tough goal scorer scoring play off the faceoff. Here are the Brahmas trying to clear it free on the left wing side. Lubbock up by two at 4-2. Here's Cardwell able to bang it into the zone. It's Cardwell with Harris and Woolard as the forward line for Fort Worth and the uh, Cotton Kings clear at the center. They give the scoring play to Hebert, the defenseman on that goal. Get the assist in just a moment as the Brahmas take control. They clear to the boards on left wing and out the center eyes. Yeah, Hebert took the shot through. Obviously, it just came through a crowd of legs and arms and bodies and not touched, and he, he's credited with the goal at this point. And here's the puck loose. The Brahmas trying to uh, make a play, and the uh, Cotton Kings playing free on left wing. DuPaul in against the defense, and on that pull down, and no call. And the puck loose to the near side. Yeah, no call again. Another offensive scoring chance and uh, a, a break for the Brahmas as there was no penalty called on that play. But, you, you know, you like to see uh, the, the hand go up every once in a while when there's a scoring chance, but the Brahmas will take that break. Not against Fort Worth the way things have gone this year's Play at center and Dowie gains possession for Fort Worth. Here's Dowie who played uh, this season also in the West Coast Hockey League. Here's Burgess to the near side. Poke check. And then, uh, fortunately for him, able to drop it back for his own defense and... The Cotton Kings play the puck to center ice. Lubbock on the attack. Here's a play across the line. Magoo, soft feather pass to the near side. Now back into the far wing. McDonald now for Lubbock. Top of the circle. Moves in. Shoots. Perry gets a glove on that. The rebound to the side of the goal. Brahma's trying to clear it out. And finally, Gorwich gains possession and shovels it out to center ice. A close opportunity for Lubbock. Yeah, Carey with a strong save on the short side shot. Uh, again, uh, asking the goalie to do a little too too much right now and he's uh, uh, he's made some good saves but uh, obviously with four in and early going into this hockey game it's uh, a tough hill for the Brahmas to climb back up. Just over five minutes to go in the period. Nine eight shots on goal in favor of Lubbock and a 4-2 Cotton Kings lead here late in period number one. Take a look at that last save. Andy and Carey who's nicknamed the Bear against McDonald. McDonald gets a high shot off to the short side. Carey gets his glove on it, gets enough of it to change the direction, and then the defense come in to sweep away the rebound. Okay, the face-off will be at center ice. Brahmas, of course, for all the information you need, merchandise, tickets, check out Brahmas.com on the internet. Of course, you can listen to the Brahmas games on radio through the internet, also KTFW 92.1 FM in the Fort Worth area. Here's Playle on the board. Brahma's trying to dump it free to the near side. Payne tripped up, does center one, however. Hungle moving free, a chance for Zacharias. Save, rebound, Hungle. The Brahma's all over, Payne an opportunity, and Savory falls on top, covers up. The Brahma's with Payne, Zacharias, and Hungle all over the Lubbock goal. A couple of nice saves by the young goaltender, Savory, as the puck was right on his doorstep twice. First off, Zacharias with a shot, and then Jason Payne jumping on the rebound, getting muscled out of there by the Lubbock defense. Obviously, everybody blocking out and clearing out, and he's able to cover up the rebound and not let a third chance come through. But there is, there's the first one, there's the second one, and then the goaltender calmly pulls that one in and takes the whistle. This uh, goaltender from Halifax, Nova Scotia, and he played in the Quebec junior ranks. 
actually play with Jose Theodore uh, from the Montreal Canadiens. Well, there you go, a uh, teammate of his in the junior ranks uh, uh, several years ago. He's trying to make his, uh, make his mark in the Western Professional League here tonight. Here's Hebert now, plays in the boards. Brahma's trying to make a play. Hungle battling hard. Hands for Payne. Back in front of the goal. The Brahma's cut in. Rust now back to the left wing point. Villeneuve able to bounce it behind the goal. Manichi for Lubbock trying to make a play, but the Brahma's hustling in the offensive end. Rust for Payne. Payne chips it in the uh, slot area. Brahma's trying to maintain possession, but finally Hebert plays for Melichurchik at center ice. Left wing for DuPaul. In across the line, DuPaul in. Back behind the net, DuPaul, drop pass in front, Melichurchik, who in a save by Carey. And the puck loose at the blue line, and the Brahma is able to cue it to the line. It actually skips outside, so the Cotton Kings have no other choice but to just loop it into the Fort Worth territory. Yeah, outside of that, sh uh, outside of that shot, this line of Hungel, Payne, and uh, Zacharias has produced a few offensive chances and, and sort of changed the momentum of this game with a very good shift on their behalf. They are the grinders, you would say, Andy, on this forward team. The third line combination. Here's Cardwell in across the line. Cardwell trying to maneuver free. Hope check for the defense. It's played on the boards on right wing. Magoo able to play on right wing for Walker McDonald. Into the forward territory. Can't squeeze by the defense. And Carey himself plays on the left wing side for Harney. At center ice for Cardwell. Long slap shot. So ever able to fall on top and hold on with 3.24 remaining in the first, 4-2 in favor of the Cotton Kings. We are going to take a break here with the Brahmas trailing by two, and we'll have more hockey in just a moment on K-Star. Silver shine of a frost brew pours light. I see cones. They're closing. Hang over the cones, sir. Nice and easy now. Let's have it. Look, there's a lot of people in line here who need to do their banking. Yeah. Hey, buddy, they're just normal people like you who just don't get out of work in time to get to the bank. So come on. Their kids could go hungry, you know. Look, Regis. Ooh. Okay, people, there's nothing for you here. Let's move in an orderly fashion to the Bank United inside Kroger. They're open late, they're nice, and you won't feel like this. <laughs> Mike Barrick alongside Andy Moog. We are in Lubbock, Texas. The Cotton Kings with a 4-2 to lead. The Brahmas have uh, had the original lead, 1-0 in the first period. Came back from a 3-1 deficit, making it 3-2, and then off the draw, the Cotton Kings scoring a goal by Hebert, so it's 4-2, face-off deep in the Lubbock territory. All-time shootout, Mike. Six goals in the opening frame. Lots of activity here in Lubbock tonight. Here's play on the boards to the near wing and out the center ice where Harris lets it go for Mike Tilson at his own blue line. Leads a pass on left wing for Woolard. Scampers in across the line. So it's Ross Harris on the far boards trying to make a play, and then it's cleared to the near wing where Holland for the Cotton Kings for DuPaul. Edmonds is center ice for Reeves. Watch out, Carey falls on top, loses it, and then about 15 feet outside, the goal covers up, Andy, and so Reeves was all over into the Fort Worth zone. Well, Jason Carey, he's keeping it interesting for us tonight, isn't he? <laughs> he's, uh, he's not got the most confidence in the game right now, but he's battling in there, and here's a situation where he sniffs out a pro potential problem, and he attempts to cover it up. The old uh, handcuffs were too tight, and uh, on the second chance, he gets it in. Uh, you got to chuckle at yourself sometimes. Andy, in your goalie schools, I mean, what do you tell a goalie on a play like that? Well, he's got to relax a whole bunch, and uh, obviously confidence is a fleeting thing, and a few more saves might uh, bring back some of that confidence. You know, it's funny. Last year, 24-9, a sparkling 2.88 goals against. The shots on goal fairly even. The Browns trail by two. Perry's been terrific in the league. 65, 26, and 11 in his first three Western Professional Hockey League seasons, trying to get himself on track here in Fort Worth. And the Brahmas have to go back into center ice. So Lubbock with the lead by two. And the play now at the blue line where Fort Worth Scorwich gains possession. Bad an assist now. Change the assist on that uh, Fort Worth scoring play earlier. 
Andy as the puck is uh, offside at the Cotton Kings blue line. Yeah, uh, confidence is a fleeting thing, Mike, uh, as you know, and uh, uh, Jason Carey is, is struggling with his confidence right now, and, uh, you know, the only way to get that confidence back is to work hard, and that's, uh, you know, that's the key to any success uh, in any position out there. He's going to battle to try and find his confidence. He's going to get some playing time. He's going to work hard in practice, and eventually, like you said, his numbers indicate that he's a top quality performer in this level, and that game should come back for him. Promise have the number two line out with Steve Dowie, relative newcomer to Fort Worth. Four years, 30 or more goals in his professional career. Drops it for his own defense, and Fort Worth Gorwich into the neutral zone, just slides it right back into Lubbock territory where the defenseman on the plate, Pat Brownlee, rings under the boards, but not out. Promise trying to keep it in. Gorwich now centers in the slot for Peach, and on goal backhand, just going wide. Here's Peach behind the net. That's behind the goal. Tries to work in front. Centers one. Broken up at the Lubbock defense. And Magoo clears to center. And a clear-cut breakaway. Walker McDonald in on goal. He scores. Walker McDonald on a clear-cut breakaway. And it's 5-2. Lubbock and Carey is beside himself in the Fort Worth goal. Uh, young Walker McDonald is having a game for himself tonight here on a breakaway again. Driving up the ice. Puck out in front of him, that usually indicates a deke, and there he goes to his forehand, slides it just inside the post uh, before Carey can get back and get position, get the pad down. Uh, forward carries a puck out in front of him on a breakaway. It's a, it's a deke only situation, and uh, his speed allowed him to get to the post before Carey was able to recover. Second goal tonight for Walker McDonald at 18.06. Gives the uh, Lubbock Cotton Kings a three goal lead with a minute and 54 remaining here in the first period. Magoo and Carper on the assist. Mention it's the second of the night, 13th of the year. Walker McDonald, 21 year old from Thunder Bay, Ontario, the son of the head coach, Bill McDonald. He is the youngest player on the Cotton Kings. Brown has cleared right back behind the goal and Lubbock gained possession. Hebert able to play to center ice. Ella Church in across the line trying to make a play, but it's offside at the forward blue line. And Andy, we've seen, unfortunately, for the Brahmas this year, lots of this. The Brahmas are in games and all of a sudden, one goal, two goals, and they fall behind. A little bit of a high-risk play at the offensive blue line at the Lubbock Cotton King blue line as the defenseman chose to pinch in, and defenseman down low, rec Lubbock Cotton King defenseman recognizing that, and we see this high lob pass allowing it forward to skate into it and, and get himself a breakaway. It's, it's burnt the, uh, the Brahmas on two occasions tonight, and it obviously is something that coach uh, Todd Lalonde is going to have to have a conversation with his boys about during the first intermission. You'll see an interview with Todd Lalonde during our first intermission. He is a very, very intense coach. This is driving him nuts, seeing games like uh, he has seen so far. Here's Cabana now, poke check to the line. DuPaul in a two-on-one with Reeves. Watch out, DuPaul in on goal. He is checked at the line. Tries to center one, then he's smacked down to the ice. Beautiful check by Cabana on Cosmo DuPaul. Best tip of the night. Here's the forward for Lubbock. They try and center one for Mella Churchick, and a penalty coming up. It looks to be against Fort Worth. They holding infraction, the first penalty of the night against the Brahmas. It looks like Cabana's going to get whistled down for holding in behind the goal line. We're going to see it here. We're going to take right. a look at that big hit, however. Previous to this, this is a clean one. Yeah, clean hit. Uh, stick down. DePaul knocked down, uh, puck goes in behind the goal right on the subsequent play. As DePaul gets the puck, gets half a step on Cabana, he's got to pull him down. He's, he's afraid that Cosmo is going to be able to walk out in front and create a scoring opportunity. Almost does from his belly, but uh, that's where the penalty is, in below the goal line on uh, Clint Cabana for holding here late stages of the first period. Here's the penalty box. Uh, there's the Brahmas defenseman, Clint Cabana, the Vancouver pro. He is leading the Brahmas in penalty minutes uh, coming into the game. Again, a holding penalty for Fort Worth. 18:47 power play for the Cotton Kings. Here's the puck now at the slot area. Lubbock trying to work it free for Reeves. 11 power play goals to his credit for DuPaul on the far boards. DuPaul now for the Cotton Kings with under a minute to go in the period. Near side pass for Reeves. Centers in the slot. Well, the church at gains possession. Brom is trying to kill it off late in the period. Drop pass to Burgess. On the far boards, but Tilson able to break it up, and the Brahmas clear it outside the blue line and actually into the Fort Worth players' bench. 
with a total of 40 seconds to go in the period, and the Cotton Kings on the power play. This, uh, this power play ranks 11th in the Western Professional Hockey League with 16.7% efficiency rating. They've been scored on eight times shorthanded, and on the other side of the coin, the, the Brahmas have scored seven shorthanded goals for. Uh, Real challenge for the team here. Uh, keep your spirits up, keep your, your focus. Uh, it's difficult, but uh, you know, with a, with a good hard work effort here, there's no, no, no reason why this team can't get back in this hockey game. But this kill at this late stages of the first period is crucial, Mike. Uh, if they can get out of the period with a good kill here, that sets themselves up for the second period. Brahma's rank a 11th in the league in penalty killing, yielding 49 power play goals. Todd Lalonde, 32 years of age, coached in the Ontario Hockey League with the Sudbury Wolves of the OHL, also uh, coached gold medal team in Canada to a, uh, a championship. And of course, uh, the face-off deep in the zone. First power play of the night. Surprising considering the Brahmas number three in the league. Cotton Kings number one in penalty minutes. Here's the play on the board. Fort Worth clear the zone deep in Lubbock territory. And Brandon Carper gains possession. There's, a, there's what a face-off win will do for you in your, in your defensive zone. Allows you to get possession, clear the zone, take the pressure off. Here's Hebert plays to line. Brahma's clear to center. Carper backpedaling and just pokes it right back into the forward zone. Carey himself clears it to the blue line. Cotton Kings appeared at first to hold it, and now they call it offside. You know what, it's Mike? I, I, I'm sorry to interrupt. I don't think it was offside. No. I think referee... Uh, Bellotti uh, called a hand pass as the puck was knocked down and then played by another Cotton King player subsequent to that. Uh, good call by the referee, uh, uh, jumped on it right away. Carey himself uh, is very active. We talk about it, Andy, and he himself tried to clear the zone. Yeah, unfortunately, he didn't get enough elevation on that clear and didn't get over top of the Lubbock defenseman standing at the blue line, but fortunately enough, uh, he wasn't able to get his stick on it to take the, uh, knock down the, uh, the touch. Uh, there's, there's Clint Cabana's penalty minutes right there. Uh, the, the 18 majors is impressive. 18 fights on the season, that's something else. Uh, 214 minutes ranks him second in the league overall. Yeah, he also is among the leaders in minor penalties, but I'll tell you what, Andy, his majors are legit. Yeah, he uh, he will step in for his teammates and battle every step of the way, and that's something you like to see for when, when you're coached behind the bench. Here's Reeves, drop pass, cleared away by Fort Worth, and all the way down deep into the Lubbock territory, down to five seconds to go in the period. Cotton Kings gain possession. They just slam it, Manichi into the forward zone, and that does it. 5-2, Cotton Kings after one, a dejected Jason Carey skates off. And uh, they love it here in Lubbock with the Cotton Kings up by three. So we will take a break here and have our between periods activities in just a moment. Power Chevy Monte Carlo SS. Uh, hot. The side you show the world is up to you. Monte Carlo will be there. Well, I, I decided. Tonight's the night I'm gonna pop the question. So did you get the ring yet? No. I had a better idea. I wanted to get her something that says I'm really in this for the long haul. It's a train. What? I'm making a commitment here. What's in the bag, Howie? Just some cool new stuff I got at Radio Shack. I love the changes they're making. And you ought to know about change. You went from being a great football player to a great football commentator. The stuff in the bag is mine, Terry. Oh, and you know, even with all the new brands at Radio Shack, they're still the same people good at answering questions and explaining things. Yeah. And even though you made the Hall of Fame, yeah. you're still the same you. Stuff in the bag is still mine, Terry. Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. Bite into the cheesy gordita crunch and you'll be rocked by a crunchy taco wrapped in warm flatbread with a melted three cheese blend and spiked with a zesty pepper jack sauce. The Cheesy Gordita Crunch, only at Taco Bell. Fast break into Taco Big Bell shake. and grab the collectible Dallas Mavericks Cup. This cup Big features shake. the Mavericks' new logo and is only at Taco Bell. The Big Mavs shake. Cup is free with the purchase of any large drink or combo meal, so hurry Big into shake. Taco Bell while supplies last. 
Welcome back. Between periods, the Fort Worth Brahmas and the Lubbock Cotton Kings. I'm Mike Barak, and with me is the newest addition to the Fort Worth Brahmas, the head coach, Todd Lalonde. Todd, welcome to Fort Worth, and uh, I know it's uh, been an interesting ride for you. Uh, you were in Waco, then you were in Central Texas this year, and lo and behold, joining the Fort Worth Brahmas. Tell us the Todd Lalonde story. Well, it certainly has been a little bit of a turbulent ride through the state of Texas here. It's been a good time. We've uh, Started by moving my family to Waco, Texas to coach the Waco Wizards and had a great time there. Uh, were able to win a division there and then at the end of that season moved to Central Texas where I spent obviously a year and a half and again had a great time there. Coached some great players and won a division, won a league championship there and then the demise of that franchise led me to Fort Worth and uh, we look pretty optimistic with things here too. I look forward to the task at hand. Todd Lalonde is a proven winner in the Western Professional Hockey League, and yet you've joined a Fort Worth team that's last in its division, having some struggles. What's this been like for you, and what is your immediate uh, uh, analysis of the Fort Worth Brahmas hockey team? Well, it's been different. There's no question, Mike. I mean, I think what it's done for me as a coach is it's really given me the ultimate task and opportunity to kind of turn things around. I think losing is as much mental as it is physical and practical, and I think you see our team here. We enter a lot of games just trying to keep things close, making sure that we don't get blown out of games and try and tackle things as they come rather than take the bull by the horn as the proverbial cliche goes and go out and dominate. We've got some good players on this team. We've got some guys that have some real good skill levels, some guys that are tough and physical, got great goaltending. So I think our psyche is probably our biggest uh, challenge right now, try and perceive things in a real positive light, allow us the ultimate opportunity to win every night. And if we do that, I think we'll be okay. What would you say uh, early on, you mentioned the goaltending, uh, Rob Laurie, and uh, you had Jason Carey in Central Texas and has joined the Fort Worth Brahmas. And obviously it starts from the goaltending and then goes up front. Talk to us a little bit about the Brahmas goaltending situation and then some of the positives that you've seen so far. Well, first of all, both Jason Carey and Robbie uh, Laurie are both good goaltenders, both guys that can start, I think, on any team in this league. Jason played for me last year and was part of a great duo, Matt Barnes and him, that really comprise the best goaltenders in the entire WPHL. Robbie Laurie played against a lot in Fort Worth. Again, a big game goaltender. Uh, the thing that probably excites me the most is the defense here. They're young guys. Um, they're big. They're physical. They're gritty. They're mean. Uh, they really play with a bit of an uneven disposition, which really excites a coach specifically on the road. And that's a real bright spot. It's tough to assemble a group of players like that. Now, again, they've all got to be harnessed and kind of put in the right direction to make sure that they stay on the, on the same page as everybody else. Up front, obviously, our captain uh, is a great player. Um, he's got some great potential. Cards, he's uh, a guy that I think can break the game for us. He's got a natural ability to score. Ross Harris, a 100-point guy in this league. And um, we really, I think, have the nucleus of a great hockey team. And like I mentioned earlier as we opened the broadcast, uh, mentally it's such a huge obstacle right now. Um, as soon as we get down in hockey games, it seems like the world's going to fall apart on this. So if we can keep a positive frame of mind, get up early in a hockey game, just continue to play rather than think our way through it, we're going to be a pretty good team and I think a pretty tough team to beat. Fans in Fort Worth will see in a hurry, and they haven't because the team has been on the road. Todd Lalonde likes to uh, make things happen. You're not one to sit back and, and watch the game as it develops. You're very active. Uh, you're very intense. Talk to us about the philosophy of Todd Lalonde. Well, I want to initiate as much as I can. I don't like to sit back and wait for things to happen. I hate guys that aren't in great shape. I hate teams that are lazy and lethargic in their approach to the game. We're in the entertainment industry. We've got an obligation to the people that come watch us play to make sure that they have as much fun as possible. And I'll tell you, it's a lot better to be on the giving than the receiving end of things. And I've been spoiled a little bit as a coach. I've always had teams that have been real gifted, real quick. And now we've got a team that I think is real gritty, real enthusiastic, and a little nasty out there. And I think as much as we can kind of take things to them physically, I think that'll open the ice a little bit for us, technically and tactically, allow us the opportunity to really jump the holes and capitalize offensively. And again, if we can keep the, our opponent kind of on their heels a little bit and second guessing what we're going to do on the ice surface, we're going to be a pretty tough team to beat, specifically at home. And again, that's something that I haven't experienced yet. We haven't been at home, but I look forward to the task of taking this team home. Final question. Let's talk about the Western Professional Hockey League. A lot of newcomers to the game tonight. First time they've seen a WPHL game, or uh, and obviously with the Fort Worth Brahmas. What can the fans expect to see of, of hockey in the Western Professional Hockey League? Well, I think for the first time fan, I mean, for the novice viewer, you're going to see a real exciting game, hard hitting, uh, action packed. You know, you're really seeing the game at really the grassroots level right here. You're seeing guys that are playing. They're either on the, the incline of their career, guys that are just coming out of the collegiate hockey or major junior hockey that really aspire to move on and play professionally at higher levels. Or you're seeing guys that have played at great levels and now just want to kind of make sure that they can add something to the game and give something to the younger kids. So I think you're going to see a fast action, hard-hitting hockey played all out. And I'll tell you, when these guys...